Hey guys, it's Miss Raymond here, and today for a meeting, we are going to talk about um, point of view um, and how that is related to a story of um, fiction stories. So, what is point of view? The perspective or voice from which the story is told. There are three main points of view that we're going to talk about. Uh, the narrator is the one who is telling the story. The narrator can be a character in the story, but it doesn't have to be. So the point of view can affect many other aspects of the story's plot and how appealing the story is to the reader. And it also can affect um, the actions of the characters and affect the characters, how they react to things and how their personalities might change or develop in a story. So the point of view really is important. All right, so how can we tell, oops, sorry. How can we tell um, what point of view is being used? All right, so these are some questions that we would ask. Which pronouns he, I, he, she, et cetera, does the narrator use? Those are some questions that you would ask that would give you some clues. Make sure you are looking at the narration and not the dialogue, all right? Remember the dialogue is going to be the character speech in quotations, in quotes, right? What they're actually saying. So you're not looking at the pronouns within the quotes. Is the narrator a character in the story? What does the narrator know? What is the narrator sharing with the reader? Does the narrator know what another character or characters are thinking or feeling? So those are all some really important questions to ask. Okay, so we are gonna watch um, a video that is going to tell us, kind of give us an overview of point of view, and then we will go into some more detail. Every story has a narrator, and every narrator has a different point of view. Which point of view is yours? Let's go! Everybody wants to know my point of view. First person is me, second person is you. Third person is he, third person is she. Everybody wants to know my POV. Everybody wants to know my point of view. First person is me, second person is you. Third person is he, third person is she. Everybody wants to know my POV. Hey yo, knock knock, who's there? Narrator, narrator, who? Narrator, who gonna tell the story from a point of view? Every story's written in a certain voice. When you're writing, you need to make a choice. First, second, the third person, POV. The first person is all about me or we. Like we climbed the tree I closed my eyes and I felt the breeze I might be unreliable if I don't tell the truth Now let's switch the point of view to you In the second person, you're in a taxi You're wondering how you got there exactly The third person is he or she He walked down the street and he saw the queen She was just hip like it wasn't a thing That's the third person, take it from him Third person narration could be objective, omniscient, or from a limited perspective. Can the narrator see in everyone's thoughts? Narrating omnisciently like a boss. Everybody wants to know my point of view. First person is me, second person is you. Third person is he, third person is she. Everybody wants to know my POV. Everybody wants to know my point of view. First person is me, second person is you. Third person is he, third person is she. Everybody wants to know my POV. All right now, check your notes. Tell me which POV is in each quote. I was born with water on the brain. That's first person. He looked up into Father Wolf's face and laughed. That's third person. We didn't always live on Mango Street. That's first person. So he closed the eyes and lay quite still. That's third person. Your feet are now stuck in green slime. That's second person. In the hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. That's third person. It made me so sick, I almost fell out of the tree. That's first person. You're thinking, this 
wasn't the way it was supposed to go. That's second person. My name is Katniss Everdeen. I'm 17 years old. That's first person. Everybody wants to know my point of view. First person is me. Second person is you. Third person is he. Third person is she. Everybody wants to know my POV. Everybody wants to know my point of view. First person is me, second person is you. Third person is he, third person is she. Everybody wants to know my POV. All right, so hopefully that video gave you um, sort of a good introduction to first person point of view. Now we're gonna kind of get into more details. So um, first person point of view, the narrator uses pronouns such as I, me, and we in the narration. The narrator is a character in the story. The narrator can express his or her own feelings, but cannot reveal any other character's feelings because they don't know. Stories from this perspective can sometimes sound like a journal or diary entry. And this point of view is commonly preferred by most authors but this point of view is not always reliable. And you might be asking why? Well, because you're going to be only hearing the narrator's own thoughts and feelings, okay? Not the other characters. Here's an example of a first person point of view or first person narration. My name is Percy Jackson. I'm 12 years old until a few months ago. I was a boarding student at Yancey Academy, a private school for troubled kids in upstate New York. Am I a troubled kid? Yeah, you could say that. All right, so second point of view, second person point of view. The narrator uses the pronoun you and puts the reader directly into the story. This is often more used for more for instruction or giving direction. This point of view is not usually used in literature and stories and novels because um, it's a little bit more difficult to use. Here's an example. There is darkness everywhere. A small amount of light is radiating from the half moon floating in the sky overhead. There are no stars. It is cold and humid. You look around you and find your friends gone. You are completely alone. Okay, so, um, and then third point, person point of view. So the narrator is going to use pronouns such as he, she, it, they, and them often. In third person point of view, the narrator is not a character in the story. This point of view is the most common point of view that is used. Uh, and there are three types of third person points of view. Okay, so there's three types of Third person narrators, omniscient, limited, and objective. And we are gonna go into more details about third person point of view. Um, good example of third person point of view would be the Harry Potter series. All right, so third person omniscient. Um, and this point of view, what, this is when a story is written from this point of view, the narrator reveals the thoughts and feelings of all the characters. So they're able to hear the thoughts and feelings of all the characters in the story. Here's an example. So in this example, notice all of the thinking involved, which is in red. Reggie stared at the water. He thought the waves looked huge. I don't think I want to swim, he said. Quit being such a baby, Quentin thought. But of course, he didn't say this aloud. Stay on the shore then, he said. I'm jumping in. Their mother sighed, wishing that her boys could get along. So you have the thoughts of three different characters, Reggie, Quentin, and their mother. All right, and then third person limited point of view. And this point of view, the narrator reveals the thoughts and feelings of only one character, okay? Not all the characters. Here would be an example. 
Eliza scuttled to the sunflower patch. She thought that becoming a wizard's apprentice would be fun and exciting. Instead, she was here in the garden picking sunflower petals with the grasshoppers. Hurry, the wiz wizard called from inside. So you're only knowing the point of view of one person. All right, and then an objective narrator. This narrator can only tell you what he, what can be seen or what can be heard. They cannot know anyone's thoughts or feelings. So we are objective observers. We can tell others what we see or hear, and we can guess at someone's thoughts, but we cannot know what they are thinking unless they tell us. So that's how the objective narrator point of view works. And this is not a real commonly used one. Okay, so right now we're gonna focus, main, main focus is gonna be recognizing or understanding the difference between the first person point of view and third person point of view overall. So we're gonna watch a video clip to help us understand that difference. Again, Rays fans, I'm Seth Stevens, and in just a few moments, the Flex 400 gets underway here at Memorial Speedway. With me, as always, is former champ Emilio De Santis. Hey, Seth. Folks, Emilio and I are really excited to unveil a new innovation to our broadcast, the first-person camera. That's right. We've outfitted several of today's drivers with helmet cameras and microphones, so at any point in the race, we can see what they see and hear what they're saying. As you folks know, typically I call the play-by-play -play from up here in the booth. And that body bundle in the 18 car attempting to take the lead from Raystone Jr. Can he do it? They're coming around the turn. It looks like he has just enough to get by him. That's some excellent third-person narration, Seth. You can tell by the words he, they, and him. Today, though, we can present a whole new point of view right from inside the car. That's right, Emilio, and it looks like the race is about to begin. Let's cut to the first person camera in Bobby Bondo's 18 car for the start. Is it hot in here? My stomach doesn't feel so good. I'm so nervous. Which way do I turn? I feel sick. Can somebody help me? Left? That's it. Every turn is a left turn. I can remember that. Well, you heard Bondo working out some pre-race nerves there on our first person camera. You know it's first person because of words like my, I, and me. We see the race right from the driver's point of view. Are pre-race jitters like that pretty common, Emilio? I'm just glad they didn't have those cameras back in my day. <laughs> All right, now it is time to practice. Test our knowledge. All right, so is this first or third person point of view? I didn't feel ready to try the entire Appalachian Trail, but I thought that a two week trip would be fun for me. Notice that I and me is in red, so that is emphasized. So you decide which point of view it is, and then we will check to see. All right, so this is written in the first person point of view. All right, I, me, those are your hints. They're telling just that person's thoughts. All right, so which point of view is this one? All right, so Victor looked at the moth. He couldn't believe that such a strange creature had landed right outside his door. So again, Victor, he and his are highlighted. Those are the pronouns. So which point of view is this? All right, you decide and then we'll check. All right, so this is third person point of view because it's using he, his, and his Victor's name. All right, here's another one. You stare at the distant horizon. There, off at the distance, could it be real? You can't believe your eyes. You were looking at a real UFO. So can you identify the point of view? All right, you decide. All right, so that would be second point of second person point of view because of the you. Anytime you see the use, okay? All right, let's try another one. 
Laura looked glumly around the pool, the pond. It wasn't a fun beach or an exciting theme park. She wondered if the entire vacation would be this boring. Isn't the pond gorgeous, Mom asked. Laura frowned. She didn't think so. All right, can you identify the point of view? Is it first person, second person, third person? And if it's third person, maybe you could be limited. It could be omniscient. So let's see if you can decide. All right. All right, so this is third person, the limited. Third person point of view. So Laura, our clues are Laura, then the pronouns is she and she. But because we're only hearing Laura's thoughts and feelings and not her mom's, it's third person limited. Oops. All right. All right, so that's all I have for today. So hopefully you learned some things about a point of view. Um, and stories and how important that is. All right, I'll see you later.